Hey y'all, Alex here at your home of the Music Deep Dive, and today we'll be doing a review of the 1994 biography by Juliet Barker, The Brontes. This book was written by Juliet R. V. Barker, born in uh, 1958 in Yorkshire. Barker's background is very interesting for a biographer, at least a biographer of uh, the Bronte sisters. She actually received a PhD in medieval history from Oxford University and in her time has, among other things, written a number of books about 14th and 15th century England, both about the historical figures but also just about the culture. She has several books and studies written about the significance of jousting tournaments in medieval England in particular, which is uh, very cool. I have not read them, but it sounds like uh, an interesting topic for sure. Relevant to this particular book, however, is Barker's passion for English literature. In the mid-1980s, Barker was the curator of the Bronte Parsonage Museum, a museum built into what used to be the Bronte's family home. Before the publication of this book, Barker published a couple of collections of the Bronte's letters, and these primary documents, particularly the Letters of Charlotte, are going to form the basis for the book that would become the Bronte's. I should clarify that I'm actually reading the 2013 reissue of this book, which I understand is slightly expanded and based upon even more letters and research that has come to light in the subsequent 20 years. Not that the original 1,000 plus pages was exactly light on info, mind, but keep in mind that this book is the biography not just of one person, but a whole family. And I do mean the whole family, not just the three sisters, but their brother Branwell and father Patrick are also both centerpieces of the narrative, and the other siblings and their mother Maria are certainly given their share of time before their respective premature deaths. There's a lot to juggle here, and granted, it is rather easier to discuss people's lives when the five of them not only are part of the same family, but for a good chunk of those lives lived under the same roof. But the author still has to balance these various personalities, and Lord knows the Brontes, for as similarly talented as they all were with the pen, were very different people, and their lives certainly could veer down very different paths from time to time. The father, Patrick, is sort of a tragic glue for the family, a prominent figure in the community whose declining years were marred not just by the loss and eventual regaining of his sight, but by the deaths of his wife and all six of his children. So that portrayal is an important one, however the central relationship of this family does seem to be the one between Charlotte and Branwell. Branwell is also a tragic figure of sorts. Um, having an affair with a married woman ended up being his downfall, and while I wouldn't say Barker excuses the act, there is a certain level of sympathy for just how violent his decline was, how a promising literary career was torn to shreds because of scandal and resulting struggles with alcoholism. In better days, Branwell's influence on and collaboration with his sisters is shown to be exceptionally strong, and Charlotte in particular seems to have really locked on to him as someone who she could kind of verbally spar with and create worlds with. After the allegations surrounding Branwell, Charlotte's reaction is shown to be horror and a desire to cut ties with him entirely which speaks to how personally offended and hurt she was by his actions. The reactions of Emily and Anne are very muted by comparison. However, it's interesting to read how uh, Branwell was likely an influence for the character of Heathcliff from Wuthering Heights. After Branwell, Emily, and Anne die in the span of eight months between 1848 and 1849, the remainder of the book delves into a period of Charlotte's life that seems under-discussed in hindsight. Not only was Charlotte having to deal with the loss of her remaining siblings and a father who was in poor health, but she had also recently become an overnight success as an author. Jane Eyre was one of the biggest novels of the decade, and while Charlotte was initially only known by a pseudonym, uh, her identity eventually became known on some level and she had to deal with um, a certain amount of celebrity attention from English high society as a result. Her marriage, death, and the subsequent memorializing of her life story by her friend and biographer Elizabeth Gaskell is dealt with as a sort of epilogue in this book, I suppose. 
And while the Gaskell biography, The Life of Charlotte Bronte, is generally revered as one of the 19th century's great biographies, uh, and one of the first famous biographies written by a woman, Barker sort of makes mincemeat of it here, criticizing the framing of Charlotte and her family and the stereotypes that the book created, many of which have uh, existed in a pervasive sort of way to the present day. There is a plethora of compelling narratives in this biography, and the whole thing is so reliant on primary sources and the Bronte's own writings that it's never in danger of being dull. I can understand if someone with minimal knowledge of the family would prefer to find a shorter volume than this one, but this is a book that is worth working its way up to. As far as contemporary works go, it's probably untouchable for the level of detail and analysis that it provides, as well as how it tackles and either dismisses or explains the common versions of the Bronte's lives that have been taught in English lit classes for over a century now. One of the better biographies I've read in a while, honestly, so yeah, highly recommend. Give it a go. And that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, more reviews are to come. Tell a friend as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time, right here at your home of the Music Deep Dive.